breaking news coming in. The danger of the lava flows in Hawaii from a whole new perspective. As you can see, Scott McLean is off the coast of Hawaii right now, joining us from a boat. Scott, what are you seeing there? Hey, Kate, so we're looking at things from a little bit of a different vantage point. This is actually where the lava is meeting the ocean on the south coast of, of the big island of Hawaii. And there are just so many fissures that continue to bubble up relentlessly over the past couple of weeks that it continues to feed uh, this stream of lava that goes all the way into the ocean. And uh, we actually have a great view because of the wind today. You can see that lava slide just pouring into the ocean, creating that steam and that smoke. This is also something called LAZE, lava haze. It is a really potentially dangerous mix of gases, hydrochloric acid, little bits of, of glass, and of course steam as well. So uh, we're ready from our vantage point to get out of here if the winds are to shift. Now, the winds that you see here, they're actually a little bit different than what we're used to seeing. They should actually be headed this way. Right now, they're headed back on shore. Why is this a problem? Well, potentially for the gases. As they head back onto shore rather than offshore, obviously there are populated areas there that are have already been terrorized by some of these gases associated with Kilauea and the continuing eruption over the last uh, couple of weeks. But uh, from this vantage point, Kate, you can see the Kilauea truly is not slowing down, at least for now. Well, and Scott, it looks like, I mean, that's absolutely the takeaway. It's not letting up at all when you see from your perspective. The heat as it's hitting, going into the ocean, you know, 40 plus homes have been destroyed. You've been there talking to all the residents. And it looks from your, from the vantage point you have, this isn't ending anytime soon. Yeah, and people are, they're getting tired, right? Some people have been staying at these shelters and then after a while they're, they've just decided to go back into their homes, even if they're quite close to the lava zone. There have been 80 structures, 80 plus structures that have been lost. Half of those about have been homes. And so uh, the impact of this is absolutely devastating. The big story is actually beyond where we can see in these fissures that continue to bubble up and they're really taking homes. They're, they're going down streets that have previously not seen a whole heck of a lot of lava or really any lava at all. And so it's like this volcanic game of whack-a-mole that people are playing here on the big island. Just when you think that things are calming down in one area, suddenly they bubble up in another area, Kate. Scott, you were talking about this lava haze. Talk to me about the air, that steam you're seeing behind you and how dangerous it is. Yeah, so there's a couple of different dangers here, Kate. Uh, one of them is this lava haze, this really deadly, uh, potentially deadly mixture, I should say. Obviously, it's, it's safer in, in, um, when it's diluted in lesser concentrations. But then also there's the, uh, the sulfur dioxide, that really rotten egg smell. That's what you get when, you know, that's what you get coming out of these fissures on land. Uh, they're also dealing with ash plumes at the summit of, of Kilauea. As it continues to erupt just a couple of hours ago, there was another big explosion there sending ash some 13,000 feet into the sky. Uh, that is a, a real serious air quality issue for people up there. And then there's one more just to compound things, Kate, but this one is only uh, potential. There could be potentially a release of hydrogen sulfide uh, from the geothermal power plant that's actually right now being covered up by this lava. Two of the wells there on that geothermal power site power plant site, they're actually covered up. And the risk there, uh, in addition to just losing the power that that plant supplies, which has been down for the last couple of weeks, if there is a breach of those wells, you could have of this hydrogen. Again, in lower concentrations, it is irritating. At higher concentrations, it could be potentially very dangerous, Kate. Scott, thank you so much. And all the while navigating some very rough waters to bring us this new vantage point. Thank you so much to you and your crew. We really appreciate it.